चैप्टर सिक्स मेजरमेंट एंड मोशन क्लास सिक्स साइंस फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ यूनिट ऑफ मास इज द किलोग्राम वाइल सिटिंग इन अ मूविंग बस वी आर इन मोशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सराउंडिंग्स अ मूविंग कार गोइंग ऑन अ नैरो स्ट्रेट रोड इज हैविंग नियरली रेक्टिलीनियर मोशन द मोशन ऑफ द नीडल ऑफ अ स्विमिंग मशीन इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑसिलेटरी मोशन द मोशन ऑफ द अर्थ अराउंड द सन इज सर्कुलर इन नेचर ट्रू एंड फॉल्स मेजरमेंट इज नीडेड टू मेक करेक्ट डिसीजन ट्रू अ मीटर स्केल कैन बी यूज फॉर मेजरिंग द लेंथ ऑफ अ प्ले ग्राउंड ट्रू द मोशन ऑफ द मून अराउंड द अर्थ इज अ रेक्टिलीनियर मोशन फॉल्स द मोशन ऑफ द पैडल ऑफ अ बाइसिकल इज अ सर्कुलर मोशन फॉल्स The motion of a giant wheel is a rotatory motion. True. When a draw, when we draw water from a well, we are pushing at the rope. That is false statement. This is MCQ. The standard unit of length is meter. The standard unit of time is second. The motion of the tip of pen while writing is an example of curvilinear motion. Which of the following four motion is different form? different from the other three this is fruit a fruit falling from a tree the motion of a swimming pendulum is an example of oscillatory motion now the d part answer the following question in brief how does measurement help us in our day to day life answer measurement helps us in our day to day life in many ways as it gives us the correct information be it in grocery shop or a distance between two places we need measurement which type of watch is used to measure time intervals in a 200 meter race stopwatch is used to measure time intervals in a 200 meter race question number 3 when do we consider an object to be in motion an object is said to be in motion it ke- if it keeps on changing its position with respect to its immediate surroundings Now, question number four. Name three different types of motion and gives give one examples of each. Three different types of motions are curvilinear motion. Example: motion of the tip of a pen while writing. While writing, periodic motion. This should be two second. This is second and this is third. Periodic motion: the motion of the hands of a clock. Oscillatory motion: the swing. swinging pendulum of a clock question number 5 the state the difference between a periodic motion and non periodic motion periodic motion a motion is said to be periodic if it repeats itself after a regular time interval example the motion of the earth around the sun non periodic motion a motion is said to be non periodic if it either does not repeat itself or does the repetition in a random irre- irregular manner for example lips movement while we talk now this is e type how why does a measurement need both number and a unit for its complete specification the answer is we need both the number as well as the unit to express the measurement in a proper and complete way because measurement is basically a process of comparison of some unknown quantity with some known fixed quantity that is unit question number 2 why is a foot step or a hand span not used as a standard unit of length a foot step or a hand span cannot be used as a standard unit of length because the length of a foot step or a hand span of different person is different so foot step or a hand span cannot be used as standard unit of length and this uh, next question radha was performing an experiment in science laboratory the meter scale that she was using to measure the length of a string was worn out between its 1 cm and 2 cm marks due to overuse now she measures the length of a string by keeping its one end at the 3 cm mark if other end of the string reaches 92.8 cm find the length of the string this can be done this way initial marking is 3 cm and mark or final mark is 92.8 cm 
now the length of the string final reading minus initial reading so final reading is this and my initial reading is this and we have done the subtraction and this is the answer next is all right the precaution to be followed when a meter scale is being used for measuring a given length precaution to be used are as follows cp is number 87 in the book keep the scale exactly along the length to be measured zero marks of the scale should coincide with one end of the length to be measured keep the eye vertically above the end point and in line with the reading to be taken now do not use worn out or broken portion of the meter scale for measuring length explain the difference between rest and motion give two examples of each rest an object is said to be an object is at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its immediate surroundings motion an object is in motion if it keeps on changing its position with respect to its immediate surrounding example moving car and walking distinguish between between rectilinear curvilinear motion rotation and revolution give one example of each from our daily life rectilinear motion an object is said to be have a rectilinear motion if it moves along a straight line path for example movement of a striker in carrom board curvilinear motion when an object moves around moves from one position to another along a curved line the object is said to be have a curvilinear motion example motion of the tip of a pen while writing now distinguish between rotation and revolution rotation an object is said to have a rotation if it has the repetitive and nearly circular motion around an axis in which the object appears to stay on at the same position for example motion of a giant wheel revolution an object is said to be in motion revolution when it is repetitive around a central point around which the position of the object keeps on changing for example the earth revolves around the sun now define the following types of motion rectilinear motion circular motion and give one example for each of these two types of motion rectilinear rectilinear motion an object is said to have a rectilinear motion if it moves along a straight line path example movement of striker in a in carrom board circular motion when an object moves on a circular path we call such a motion as circular motion example if a ball is tied to the end of a string and the string is wheeled around and round then it is circular motion now value based question when karni mother saw her school calendar she noticed the annual sports day was still 4 months away she however advised karni to follow a regular systematic practice schedule right from the start karni followed her advice and did not deviate at all from her regular practice on the sports day she won the first prize in her event her mother told her that she succeeded in her effort to because she did her practice in a way similar to that of an object having a rectilinear motion so why did karni mother compare her practice schedule with that of an object having a rectilinear motion and state the value displayed by karni now karni mother's compare her practice schedule with that of an object having a rectilinear the linear motion as it signifies signifies focus consistency systematic attribute now value displayed by by this would be by karni mother karni ar obedient ka determined hard working consistent persistent all these are the values she is having and i guess thank you that's all thank you Thank you T Thank you